So what we're doing is we are trying to identify other ways to measure the success of the security projects, the security work we're doing at Mozilla. So uh, one of the problems that we see in the industry is that there's a lack of good security metrics or ways to evaluate the security of one project over another or one project over by the, you know, compared to itself over time. So uh, what we want to do is, 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 since we can't say this is more secure than that, figure out well, what can we measure. Um, Security is a really difficult thing to measure, so um, what can we look at to help us identify whether or not we're doing reasonable things? Like, you know, is this tool useful? Is this process successful? And, um, and, and, and look at our, our, our success over time. Or, you know, and, if, and if we're seeing that something's not being um, successful, what else can we do? How can we improve it? Is our time not really well spent over here? So those are the things that we're looking at, and um, right now we're collecting the what. You know, what should we be looking at? Um, and things like you know, the, the metrics that we've been using are things like, um, you know, was this tool useful? Well, how many bugs did it find? In what components? What severity were those bugs? Um, in terms of our, our overall processes, things like how long did it take us to get this this patch out after we identified the, after the vulnerability was was identified or announced? Um, and it, in terms of the overall risk to users, it's not just about how quickly we got that patch out there, right? It's also how easy was it for our users to deploy. So then we're looking at time to deploy. And those those both comprise the window of, of risk to our to our users. Um, and if our and are there ways that we can reduce the time to deploy? Things like session restore. Um, if the user sees that there's a patch available and they know that um, as they're shopping for a car and they've got four tabs open or five tabs open, and um, they're in the middle of, of of doing all this work, and they see that the security updates available, um, are they going to put it off? Um, or are they get more willing to, to go ahead and accept the patch right now because they know that Session Restore will, will restart the browser and bring them right back to where they were as if nothing had happened. They can just get on with their work and it's only been a, you know, a few seconds of interruption. You know, that's a security feature and it's, it looks like a, like a, like a, like a functionality um, enhancement and it really, it really is uh, both. Of course, I like to think of it as a security feature because it means that the time to deploy these patches gets reduced. Um, you know, all these things that we're looking at, all these, these are the metrics that we were working with, but now we've got, um, you know, the, feedback from the security metrics research community and from um, places like CMU and uh, you know, all, the, all these different um, people out there who are looking at the work that we're doing and saying, well, this is useful, maybe that's not so useful. And, you know, but getting that feedback and incorporating that into the what, uh, what should we be looking at, that's the first step. The next step is how. How can we pull this information out of the bug tracking database? Or if we can't pull it out of there, is this, um, how can we capture it over time? And then you know, maybe six months, six months from now, we'll have something useful that we can measure and use that going forward to evaluate the success of one against the other. Um, but most importantly, um, after we've had a chance to look at this and how, evaluate how, it's, uh, how we're doing in our own processes, this is something that, this is a set of uh, metrics, hopefully, that the rest of the software development world can use to evaluate their projects. And they've had a hand in this because they, um, they gave Mozilla feedback on it. You know, during the process that we got all this feedback from the security metrics community. They're not just uh, doing this to figure out like how to secure the browser or how to measure the security of the browser. Um, it can be generalized to any other development project and that's what's really exciting to me that it's not just useful to Mozilla, it's going to be useful to other development environments.